Ah, we finally did it. Cue the sparks, cue the confetti. Maybe play the properly titled Graduation by Kanye West. I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. Okay, baby, we'll pretend to play the properly titled Graduation by Kanye West. Okay, Kurt, don't you think you're going a little overboard right now? There are literally sparks flying. All that matters right now is that I'm going the perfect amount of overboard because I just finished the worst four years of my life. You went to school for five years. Five years of my life. <sighs> I guess this is fine. At least you're not wearing that dumb bear suit you wore the last time you talked about college. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. As of last week, assuming this video comes out on time, and I actually did all my work, I, I finally graduated college. I'll be it from a Zoom call but uh, graduated nonetheless. Now, if you guys saw my How College Ruined My Life video from last year, uh, you could probably guess that I wasn't necessarily the uh, biggest fan of higher education. Useless information! Oh! School legit was the bane of my existence. It gave me panic attacks. It was the source of a lot of my stress and truly was a time vampire all to get Pretty much uses piece of paper. I hated having to take a test on caves when I that wasn't what I was studying. I hated having to go into class and be forced to talk to new people. I hated making connections with those new people. I hated going out to a school function and having a good time with my friends. I hated busting my ass studying for a subject and getting a really good grade on and feeling so accomplished. And I hated how my only concern during college was if I was gonna pass a test on Monday instead of what I'm about to deal with, which is being uncertain about how the rest of my life's gonna go. Okay, I gotta I gotta level with you guys. Ever since that last video where I talked about college, a lot has changed. Not necessarily in what I think about college, but more so in it being over. Like, that makes that make sense? It's kind of hit me when I was doing my final presentation for my PR class. It was a semester-long project doing one of the things I hated the most, group projects. But it was somewhat bearable because it was on a video call. The one perk of the whole pandemic thing going on. And as we recorded that last recording, congratulate each other for finally getting it done. Not gonna lie, I felt sad. And this degree is the work of four years. It's the result of all my hard work and symbolic of all the friends I've made. It's really all I've known. I don't know, it was kind of in the same vein of people who hate their ex until you actually break up and then all you can remember is the good time. College is that ex, it's all I've known. And moving on to something not as comfortable, not as certain, that's scary. Especially when I know that on the other side of this whole thing is real life. I'm a little nervous. I came to college to figure out my life direction, but coming out of it, I'd say I'm a bit more confused and a lot more depressed. And moving on with such heavy uncertainty, it's scary. Here, let me, let me explain real quick. So, okay, I feel the whole congratulations bit ran a little dry when you admitted you're depressed. Let's turn off the sparks. Uh, I think it's fine. What? How? They're celebratory. Again, you just admitted you were depressed. It, it's still a celebration. It's just a depressed one. Uh, anyways, first things first, y'all might be like, oh, why are you freaking out? Are you just gonna be a YouTuber? Yeah, that is the dream post-college. I mean, 200K subs, a ton of videos, you gotta be rolling in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's broke. I'm broke. But even if I was swimming in the ad sense, this is the whole YouTube thing is, is far from stable. Oh, man. Videos could always, I mean, always go under. There's never any question of that. My last two joints, bomb. I mean, ad sense is crap. I could be on my ass next week. I, I got this whole paper. But that's kind of the thing, though, is that this paper is useless. And not in the conventional, oh, I hate college sense. More so in the sense, everything I study for these five years is kind of useless. See, I got a degree in media production, which is essentially the same as having a doorstop for a degree. Don't bash me here, but I feel like degrees in creative fields aren't always the best look, at least from my experience. Like, usually they need you to have a body of work, and, well, mine from the past three years is well, stuff like this. Like, now nah, I don't know who's gonna hire me uh, with this on my plate. Uh, mine is Frederator. Love y'all. Thanks. Just watch getting the Robot. And even if I was gonna stick with it, I have no clue what I do. So the future is uncertain. Like, what do I want? Like, I barely know what I want for lunch, let alone the rest of my life. And what's even crazier, even if I got a degree in like with a real job, like a real boy, I feel like I'd still feel like this. Like take my sister, for example, who's three years out of college doing her own thing. So she's far out into life. She got a degree like a real boy. So you'd think uh, she'd have her shit together. No. No. My sister is like one of the most hardworking, smartest people I know. She literally keeps a notebook where she plans everything day to day. Like she's on it. And when I asked her if she was sure about her trajectory in life compared to now and versus when she was in college, she feels more unsure now. Now. 
now. So what the heck am I gonna do? She's like, way, way more put together than me. So even if I got a real boy degree, I still could have wasted it. Oh, you wanna talk about wasted degrees? Holy ah! shit. Ivan, dude, what, what, are you, what are you doing here, dude? Complaining. Oh, well then, uh, proceed. So I ended up going to college for two whole years just to get a degree that I don't even use. I ended up studying respiratory care or respiratory therapy, and I am a licensed respiratory therapist in New York, but I don't do it. I choose not to use my license and instead use it to get free McDonald's because apparently they're doing all these specials for healthcare workers, uh, which I am technically, yes, I just don't practice because I'd rather take the McDonald's than the corona. See, see, so it's like, what was the point? What am I gonna do now? Like, uh, this, this shit is so unsure. Also, what the hell is going on with all the sparks and shit? It's weird, right? I'm being celebratory. If any of these revelations have taught me anything, it, it's really this at the end of the day. A real life is scary. Not only am I unsure of what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna get thrown out into the real world. See, college, okay, is like real world life. It's got aspects of the real world, like work and living on your own, but it's not the full big guy thing. You're half living like a regular person. Oh no, there's nothing more frightening than taxes. And now I'm gonna have to schedule my tax appointments on my own now. I'm gonna have to do rent, insurance. Nothing shook me more than learning I'd have to find my own doctor. Like, yo, what the hell? And it's time to upgrade now and I'm really unsure. I'm uncertain. Okay, what was that? What was what? Oh, no, no, no. Last time something like that happened in the video, we almost died. Died is such a strong word. What's going on? Is there something back there? No, no, no. Nothing's going on. You know, just go back. Okay, and let me finish talking about being scared of my future with my celebratory sparks. Okay, let me know. The thing is, with college is that it's comfortable. It's something I know. I understand college. I understand how this, this whole thing works. I've been doing it for four years. Five years. Five years. Like, sure, college wasn't the best experience ever, but I, I know it. It's all free form. Like, the adult version of a guidance counselor is a therapist, and that ah! doesn't come with tuition. Now, yo, what am I gonna do? You finish this thing, and you come out almost as confused came in. So, really, I don't know if I want to move on. I mean, I'm glad to be done, but what do I do now? I really just want to stay here and kick with my homies a bit longer. Not have to worry about the real world. Now, the thing with these videos is that I always wish that I had the answer. Like, this is the part where it's like, oh, here's the moral, though. But I don't really got one this time. <laughs> like, the idea of having a moral is that I've experienced it so I can tell you, oh, all right, so we're cool now. This is what happened, so we're fine. Like, I could tell you how to get through college because I didn't. I can't tell you how to get through real life. Not exactly the most sure on that one. And even if I ask people who have done it, but again, they also don't know. So, woohoo. How do you do this? Well, this is my thoughts. And again, this is just coming from me. This isn't even something that I'm 100% sure on myself, but I guess it's the best way to go about it. So here, let me take it back. See, from middle school to high school coming in, I wasn't sure what I wanted or how I was gonna fit in. I had issues trying to find friends and I thought high school was gonna be an even bigger challenge. But I came out of that just fine. Shocker. And then I finished high school, I came out of that scared. Like it's the whole middle school thing, but on a grander scale. This is a life light where I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. What do I want? I was scared of being on my own, yet excited. And I came out of that one once again, just fine. And to be honest, this is all kind of like the same thing. I'll be on a far, far grander scale. I mean, this time around, I got like taxes and insurance and rent to worry about on my own. So yeah, maybe just a tad more crucial moving from middle school to high school. But yo, just like that, there'll be ups and downs and you just gotta do it. In life, there was always uncertainty and it might not work out, but at the end of the day, I made it this far and you gotta trust in life, you'll be fine again. And just like in college, there will be times where I'm uncertain. There will be times where I'm not sure where to go or how to fix the problem. There will be highs and lows, but the most I can do is stay committed and try. Because I have proof from the past that I've done similar and hopefully I've been all right. And I've been all right since then. So yeah, that's pretty much the take from this. Hopefully I don't regret it 10 years later when I'm homeless and on my own. <laughs> and there it is. What the ah! just happened? We might have a bit of a problem backstage. Oh my God. How? So ever since the last time y'all saw it, the studios have gotten a, like a little bit more like messed up, just a smidge, just a bit. A bit? We are literally analog right now. We have to fix this. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, the Patreon money is a bit indisposed right now. Wait, what do you mean indisposed? How the- Curtis? Yes. Is that blood? Yes.
on the bright side, it's not mine. Ah, uh, well, that makes me feel completely better. Thank you. Yeah, we're probably going to need to fix this soon. Or, yeah, I don't know how the, we're going to be looking on the video making front. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Uh, that all aside, this episode is sponsored by Raycon. Wait, so we have a sponsor? So we can fix oh, this? Oh, no. This is so I can actually make the video. That's not going to fix any of this. Oh. I've talked about Raycon before, and newsflash, they're still amazingly dope. Like, these are my first pair of Bluetooth earbuds, and man, like, these are very solid. I use them a lot when I'm editing, or if I'm on call on Discord, it is definitely the way to go. Trust me. I've started streaming, and I even use the Raycons then, although with my jacked up setup, I only have to put in one. It's it's weird. I have to explain. But I but I, I like the Raycon. It, the audio quality is super good, and it's nice to just have one earbud plugged in without all the wires. It's really, really good. I highly suggest checking them out, guys. Like, for real. They're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Plus, they're everyday e25 earbuds are their best model yet with six hours of play time seamless bluetooth pairing and more bass and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit it also comes in fun new colors and as y'all know i had to do the kurt richie boo the studio may be broke but i'm still on brand so if you want to support the channel it, it won't support my help fixing that i don't know how i'm gonna fix that but if you just want to help and like generally go to buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to get 15% off your first order. Once again, that's buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie for 15% off your first order. Oh, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tired Richie Deer. God, I am tired. So if you like that video, be sure to check out the last one. It was about me peeing in documents. It was not the best time. <laughs> Aside from that, yo, we're back. I got a lot of fun stuff coming with the videos, new content coming a whole different thing that'll be fun uh and even more important i started streaming over on another channel called kurt streaming very aptly named i know please go check out that stuff it's i, I like to think it's fun it's a fun time uh, we're playing danganronpa 2 it's a really good game where children die so you know it's a uh, it's swell uh other than that though yeah come through it's a good time um we're out here i think that's really about it uh check out the discord check out the patreon i'm exhausted i got a whole other video to do it's cool <laughs> all right y'all peace